Uh, welcome to all and good evening. Good evening. Um, I'd like to just say welcome uh, to Sovereign's Grace Chapel uh, annual Christmas program. On the behalf of the elders, congregation, and I'd like to say welcome to all and uh, the elders would like to say thank you to the congregation as well for all that you've done for the elders uh, through the year. Okay, if you would, let us bow in prayer, and then we'll proceed with our program uh, with uh, Sister Barbara Long. Heavenly Father, we do thank you uh, for this evening. Lord, we just pray for each uh, family, each person that is here. Lord, we pray that this uh, season would be uh, a season where people are focused uh, correctly, which is uh, the birth of Christ. Uh, we are not sure that it was on December the 25th, but we know that he, he was born into the world and that he lived and that he was crucified and that he rose again the third day and ascended up on high with the Father uh, at the right hand of the Father, place of authority. And Lord, we just ask that uh, you would bless each that is assembled here this year, not only um, for today, Lord, but for the rest of the, the time to come here on earth and then as well in eternity. We just ask, Lord, that your blessing will be upon the participants. And we just pray, Father, that uh, it will be a glorious time for each of us doing not only this time, but uh, from now on. Uh, we just give you all the praise and ask that uh, you would bless in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our annual Christmas program is usually presented by the Sunday school classes, and so we're going to begin with the adult Sunday school class. And the representative for the adult Sunday school class is Mrs. God for this time of the year, knowing that we have a Savior, knowing that He came the way no man expect a king to come in a manger yeah. of animals. Who can understand that? But we thank God for the fact that He came. Well, we got good news. God has left his people with a lot of good news. In the book of Revelation, chapter 21, he tells us about a new heaven, a new earth. And just think, this earth is going to pass away and it's going to be a new one. We thank God for that. And not only that, Apostle John told us that he saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Got a lot to be thankful for. A new heaven, new earth, and there's going to be a new Jerusalem. Isaiah had a message for the ones that needed to hear, that knew about Jerusalem. He said, awake, awake, put on the strength of old Zion, put on the beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there should be, there should no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus said the Lord, ye have sold yourself for nothing, and you shall be redeemed without money. For thus said the Lord, my people went down a poor time into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Syrians oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, said the Lord, 
that my people is taken away for nothing. They that rule over them, make them to howl, said the Lord. And my name continually, every day, is blasphemed. Therefore, my people should know my name. Therefore, they should know in that day that I am he that doeth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publish salvation. That saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Thy, watch, thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together mm -hmm. shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye places of Jerusalem. For the Lord hath comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has made bare his, old, his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from hence, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. For he should not go out with haste, nor go out by flight. But the Lord would go before you, and the God of Israel will be your re-reward. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your voice and sing, oh, in the Yes, God. Yes, night throws pain on an open fire. Jack Frost <laughs> may be at your nose. You'll tie cattle being thrown by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows. A turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loading lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. 
And every mother's child is going to spy to see a reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase. It's from a one to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Next, we'll have Mr. and Mrs. Freeze will be doing um, two selections. One is Love Came From Me, and then they'll do a duet, Wonderful Merciful.
performing, you are my king. sing. It is the birthday of thy king. Awake, awake. The sun doth shake light from his locks, and all the way breathing perfumes doth spice the day. Awake, awake. Hark, how the wood rings. Winds whisper, the busy springs a consort make. Awake, awake. Man is their high priest, and should rise to offer up the sacrifice. I would I were some bird or star, fluttering in woods or lifted far, above this inn and road of sin. Then either star or bird should be shining or singing still to thee. I would I had in my best part fit rooms for thee. Oh, that my heart were so clean as thy manger was. But I am all filth and obscene, yet if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Sweet Jesu, well then, let no more this leper haunt and soil thy door. Curse him, ease him, O oh, release him, and let once more by virgin birth the Lord of life be born in earth. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you're following along with the program, on the right-hand side of your program is the lectures from the children's Sunday school class, but as most of you know, 66.67% of participants are not here because they're homesick. <clears throat> so we're just going to skip right down to the part where it says uh, the reading of Luke um, chapter 2, and Alexis will do all of it because we lose the parts, but she'll have to.
be reading Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the land of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men, on all his favor and rest. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the green tree. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about this child. And all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all these things they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told. of our program, so uh, we'll now turn it over.